Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the second CGR episode. Today, we're going to be talking about WandaVision, all nine episodes. Um, and I guess, I guess we're just going to start off with just summarizing each episode, which I'm sure some people by now have forgotten maybe the first couple episodes. Mm -hmm. And also, since so, we're uh, messing the, up the upload schedule, we were having a lot of technical difficulties involving editing, so we just decided to reshoot them. Yes. Okay. So, this first episode, called Film Before a Live Studio Audience, um, starts off with the Marvel logo and turns into that black and white sort of vintage look. Um, this is supposed to be sort of like, I guess, I Love Lucy or the Dick Van Dyke show in the 50s and whatnot. And it's just, this episode's really just kind of lighthearted. There's nothing really serious it's going on. Again. It's like, it's, it's really Yeah, it's just introducing you to all the characters, really. Um, Vision figures out what the calendar was all about. It was Mr. Hart. They have a dinner with Mr. Hart that night. And Wanda and Vision think that they're on the same page, but Wanda thinks it's their anniversary, and Vision thinks that um, it's the meeting with Mr. Hart, which it actually is. Yeah. Uh, cuts to the ad, the Stark Industries toaster, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I like how they did all the old-fashioned ads. That was kind of cool. Yeah, the ads were nice. It's just like watching a sitcom. Pretty cool. And Wanda, you know, is in like a... You know, anniversary outfit. Dress, yeah, yeah, like anniversary a dress. Like a wedding. Yeah, thing, yeah. Yeah, and Mr. Hart and Mrs. Hart are kind of like confused, um, but then they just pretend it's like a Sokovian European thing. Yeah. Whatnot. Not very slick, Wanda, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the fact that she could control them all, I yeah, guess she just wanted. Uh, well, I mean, good thing that these people are uncultured because they would have known that that's not a Sokovian dress if they were cultured. <laughs> yeah. And the greeting. The greeting that they did with the weird... Like, Wanda, you can control everybody, bro. You can just snap your fingers and turn into a new outfit and just make them forget that that happened. Yeah, and then the <laughs> whole funny thing with the dinner with Agatha coming over. I loved Agatha's character. Agatha's the first... character was a great character. Bro. Oh, it really is great. She's so funny. She's she's pretty much the comic relief. Yeah, she uh, and is. She's the nosy neighbor. <laughs> the nosy neighbor. <laughs> um, so the whole dinner thing happens, and then it all goes bad, so she ends up just making breakfast for dinner. I don't know and... how, um, I don't know how Wanda doesn't realize that Agatha isn't under her control. I, I think she does, but I think what they were hinting at later in the episodes is that Wanda is going through grief, and she's just so sad. That she really, I don't think, just cares. She really doesn't I really care. I don't think she cared, yeah. No, I think she thought that Agatha was just, you know, different, maybe. I don't know. But um, Mr. Hart ends up choking on a piece of food. Um, his wife gets in, like, a weird glitch where she starts, like, starts saying, like, stop it. It's like, that's, like, the first creepy thing to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and then Vision yeah, has to, like, reach in. Creepy the things in this show are really eerie. Yeah. Um, and then it ends off with um, them putting the wedding rings on and marrying, and then it zooms out, and we see that it is being broadcasted and watched by S.W.O.R.D. So, that's the first episode there. It's actually a pretty good episode. It was, I was uh, just confused when I saw the episode, because I was like, what, why are we watching a sitcom in Marvel? Like, what? Yeah, it was, it was only like... It was also only like twenty minutes long, so pretty short episode. No, it was thirty minutes. No, it was twenty. It was I'm twenty looking minutes. At the thing right now, dude, it literally says thirty yeah. minutes. But if you if you really want to consider, that's just credits. Well, true, because there's credits for like ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's only like twenty minutes. The first couple episodes are only like are pretty twenty short, something yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. There's um, a, there was always a bunch of jokes on the internet saying like how like t it's like the final the finale will be eight minutes of. Play screen time in 35 minutes to an hour of credits. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was like 45 minutes of screen time and like five minutes of credits, so. Yeah, no, but that's what everyone was saying. Yeah, I know. Just 
They turned yeah, it I around think they, for the I final think, I think they were just trying to make it like a sitcom, because sitcoms weren't, like, super long. They were, like, 20 yeah. minutes, something like that. Um, anyways, second episode, uh, Don't Touch That Dial is still, I think, in the 60s, I believe. Um, it starts off with them in their two twin beds, kind of separate. Um, and they're kind of getting scared from something happening, like hitting uh, the house or like shaking the, the house. And it's just like the branch. Yeah, it's just like the branch. And then they bring their two beds together and they make love. And yeah. then the intro cuts in, which is like a bewitched uh, type of intro. It's actually a pretty catchy first episode intro. First episode kind of sucked, not gonna lie. Yeah, the first? Yeah. Especially the second and third one. Yeah, so after the intro, we cut to Wanda and Vision doing, like, magic for the talent show coming up for the children, which is still so creepy. Mm -hmm. um, Vision is kind of, like, confused because he feels like they should, like, you know, maybe use their powers or something for the talent show. Yeah. Or, and then he, like... And feels like Wanda, they're not he's trying to like conceal that he's using his powers. If I was in yeah. there, well, I mean, to be fair, I guess they were controlled by Wanda, but if I was in there, I would have been like, this guy is like flying, bro. There's no way that that's like. I yeah, been, but <laughs> Wanda ends up covering up or whatever. Like, well, why does she have to cover yeah. it up if she's already in control of all the people? Yeah, that's the thing that could, I think she's she just did it because she it wants it to be like interesting. A, normal kind of thing yeah she wants it to be normal she doesn't want it to be like completely fake where she can do whatever she wants oh, with exactly. no consequences. she wants to kind of make it feel real mm -hmm. uh anyways she hears like a loud thud she goes outside finds the red helicopter toy from sword it's the one that monica sent in yeah yeah and they changed because the hex changed yeah because of the hex time. but it's in color so that's that that's was new a, and weird. yeah that was cool the mailman comes by. He has the same line in this episode and episode nine. I think it's episode nine. He or was yeah, the same thing. he's like, what was it? He's like, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot. Yeah, I'm just the messenger. Yeah, yeah, don't shoot. Just the messenger. Yeah. I think he's like, uh, him out. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, he could be saying that because he's the same afraid thing of Wanda. every time he passes by some or passes by Wanda. I thought it was a clue, like to something weird going on with him, but no, it's it's just he's bugging out. Yeah, I thought he uh, actually, be like Mephisto in disguise or something. Mephisto, yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's, yeah. But after this, we see Wanda, Agnes having interactions, which is pretty cool because Agatha Harkness or Agnes is like one of my favorite characters in the show because of how funny she is. She brings uh, in so many comedic things. Yeah, she really does. Until she um, they the go whole switcheroo thing and becomes this like weird witch lady. I yeah, like from the from the witch trial. But everyone trials. already really knew that, bro. Yeah, everyone really knew it because from the comic books, Agnes, Agatha Harkness. It's yeah. it was. But after that, they go to Dottie's kind of like assembly thing mm -hmm. for talking about the talent show. It's funny how they were like all scared of Dottie. Yeah, they're all scared of Dottie. Again, like another example of Wanda, you know making complications like she could easily just make dotty like her you I mean, know for the main part she probably um they probably just did that just to make us not think that wanda was in control of the whole thing yet yeah oh and also in this scene we get monica as what it, what it, what is she, what's her fake name that she gives herself monica um the, that's uh, uh that's the electric lady right sword monica the sword sword, monica rambo yeah, I know, but she's the, she gets, like, the power and stuff. Yeah, 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 she gets the There's photon power. She, like, gets shot through and it, like, nothing happens, but... Yeah, she she's gonna turn into photon, the hero. I don't remember her name, but... So she yeah. just gets powers from going into the hex? Yeah, from the radiation. How does no one else get powers from going through the hex? Because no one else walks through Because no one else walked hex. through, like, multiple times. Oh. So you're telling me if everybody yeah. walked through multiple times, everybody would- And she's also- she, she has something to do with, like, the Creed and all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she was in Captain Marvel. She was the little kid. She was? So, yeah. She... Oh, no way. That's and I still don't understand why they don't want to mention Captain Marvel. 
Yeah, like why was Nick Fury and Far From Home and Monica and WandaVision? Like, don't say her name or something. Yeah, like don't provoke her name. And they were always like disgusted when they heard her name. Like, I there's you know I mean, Captain Marvel two is coming nobody out. Nobody likes the actress either. So yeah, well that Lee doesn't Larson. have much to do with it. Yeah, yeah I don't think yeah, I don't think Larson. the outside character did. Yeah, um, I feel like they um I saw I thought that um Captain Marvel was gonna be like the main character in Marvel. From like after well, yeah. Really. Game. Uh, or, like, I didn't think she's gonna be the main, but she, she, they definitely kind of like. I feel like she's gonna turn into like a bigger character with like the whole scroll thing going on. Who do you think is mm-hmm. gonna be the main character in the new Marvel? Oh, I don't know, dude. That's I mean, there's like thousands far, and thousands on top of thousands. I know. Of characters. They're really they have to focus on too many people for there to be a main character. What are they gonna yeah. do for Black Panther? Because the actor died. His oh, they I think they're gonna yeah, Shiri. Yeah. Who? The sister. Fury. Oh, the lady, the sister, the, the the sister that made all the tech. Or something? Yeah, yeah, she became Black Panther happened. in the comic books, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So, they, yeah. I, mean, I feel like that was bound to happen, to be honest. Yeah, it was going to happen at some point, but I, I just don't think people were expecting it so recent, but... Yeah. Yeah. Then what do you... What, what do you have pancreatic cancer? Colon oh, cancer. I don't know. Colon cancer, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay well... Little actor, though. Yeah, yeah, he did a lot more. He he did the um, Jackie Three Robinson Bridges. movie, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he also did Winter Soldier, Captain America: Winter Soldier. No, he was just Black Panther. We're saying more other roles. Oh, we're saying yeah, yeah. other roles than just Black Panther. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, next we see you uh, <laughs> back onto the episode after that huge rant yeah, or whatever that was. Topic, but it's okay. Yeah. Um. We cut to the library with all the men kind of, like, gossiping over other people, which is kind of funny. Mm-hmm. And Vision's, like, so uptight, but then he eats a piece of gum and is, like, drunk for the rest of the episode. Yeah. Which is really cool. Mm-hmm. I, I do enjoy that. Um, right after that, uh, we cut to Wanda and Dottie, you know, talking, whatever. And then Jimmy Woo interrupts them and it's the second kind of or third i guess you could say creepy kind of like wanda. interaction wanda. yeah wanda like, and then he's like calling to her right yeah and then but she like didn't she like they tune it out like out of the show yeah yeah she cut it out of the show and then Dottie was like bleeding and then she made that weird how do you get blood out of white linen she's like you do it yourself and she was also like the bleeding was in color yeah, the blood was in color. Another, which means that maybe she was. It wasn't. Just colors had been in color. She like actually started bleeding. Well, folks. Well, probably. The, yellow, the helicopter the had episode, yellow on it. Because we're only on two, right? Yeah, we're only on episode two, and then it cuts to the ad with the the man only has two things to be ready: his woman and his Strucker watch. Oh yeah, that was so dumb. His lady. Yeah, it's it's, but Strucker is the guy that experimented on Wanda mm-hmm. from Hydra, Strucker. So that's uh, it's pretty cool. So they're that doing they, like, all these teasers with the ads. That's kind of cool. It's, I think the ads are supposed to, like, you know, represent the Wanda's... something. Yeah, they symbolize Wanda's consciousness yeah. or her past. Childhood or past. Yeah, yeah cuz last episode with the Stark toaster and the beeping getting faster is like the bomb the that, bomb, yeah. you know... Yeah. yeah, the Stark Industries bomb, and then this has the Strucker Hydra thing. And Anyways, we cut to the order of her of her like traumatic events. She goes from like where she get where yeah. the bomb struck to like where the where she was in Hydra and got tested on and stuff. Yeah. Well, we cut to the talent show where Monica's kind of the head of everything there, um, getting people on the stage. Wanda sees that Vision is drunk. This is a funny scene where they're in the talent show and Vision's like using his real powers and everyone's kind of confused. And then, you know, Wanda kind of like makes it look like, you know, it was fake by showing people what the real yeah. thing was. So that, 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 those were like a cute scene, funny scene. And then when Vision's doing like the card trick, he's like, is this your card? Is this your card? And then, of course, the final card was his card. Yeah, I remember that. That was funny. Yeah. I feel like the first uh, episodes were like more comedic. 
And yeah, they were fun and lighthearted. More and more serious and more and more like actually to the story. As yeah. You got further well, and more. after the talent show, they get awarded the funniest show. Uh, everyone's kind of like clapping to them, mm-hmm. and Monica is kind of just like, "How did you guys do that?" Because she she got teleported into like that yeah. box thing. Yeah. Um, then later that night, I feel like the um, seventh, eighth, and ninth episodes were like when they went like entirely to the story. Yeah, yeah it was like the Marvel episode. It was like yeah, the like, they kind of cut the sitcom the Marvel bit. ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they cut the sitcom bit and they just started doing like explaining, explaining. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Wanda and Vision are back home, and Wanda's pregnant, and <laughs> middle of nowhere, Wanda is just pregnant. And then the beekeeper comes out of the sewer, and she says no. And then everything rewinds. This was a crazy scene. I remember it. Everything just rewinds, and then it replays everything, and then everything turns into color. And so we're moving into the 70s now. At so first, I thought that what happened was, the like, timeline kind of Mephisto thing. didn't want her to get, like, nervous, so he, like, rewinded it. No, no, I, 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 th- I don't think Mephisto really had anything to do with this. As much as I love the idea of Mephisto being it, I think this was all Wanda's hex. Yeah, yeah, I but know that I now, but like, think... I was just at the time I thought it was more. I thought it was like about Mephisto originally. Yeah, and me like too. the last episode, I thought it was just gonna be like everybody, or like Wanda and Vision, um, and maybe Monica Rambeau and Sword fighting against Agatha uh, and uh, Mephisto. Yeah. Well, uh, third episode, now in color, um, is based on the Brady Bunch. The house actually looks identical to the Brady Bunch. Yeah, house. I was, yeah when I saw it, the house looked exactly like the Brady Bunch. I know, it's crazy. And the opening, too. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, we are in the 70s now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we open up, and Wanda is pregnant, and she is, you know, pregnant at an alarming rate, like, they were pregnant overnight, and it's like she's already four months pregnant. Yeah. It's crazy. Then Is this the like episode where there's the disgusting day pictures of Vision? Yeah, she 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 had a baby the same day she was pregnant. Same, no, but the baby oh, yeah, pictures of Vision, time. like the Vision dude. That, that's 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 next. Up. That's fifth episode. <laughs> oh god, that, that killed me. Oh so oh, that was terrible. That was so bad. I had okay, we after that. Yeah, we have to talk about that later because this is episode three. That was episode five. Um, anyways, after that whole kind of like vision, kind of nervous because you know the baby just came like suddenly overnight, and you know it's already four months. It looks like it's already four months. Um, the doctor is going to Bermuda. You know, maybe Bermuda Triangle. You know that whole thing. That's a myth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyways, you know, he's not going to get far, of course, because Wanda won't let him, of yeah. course. And Herb is glitching. Herb is cutting through the concrete, and even with Vision telling him, he just continues and yeah, just smiles. Yeah, I that. That was, that was like when, you, when I first started getting, like, the alarm bells. And they were, like, yeah. about to say, like, tell Vision that they're all under Wanda's control, but then they stopped. Yeah. Because Agatha made, made him stop. That's near the end of this episode, though. This is just Herb kind of cutting through the concrete. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so we cut to now Wanda being even more pregnant, and her belly is the size of a pie. Pie? Pie? Papaya? Papaya, yeah. Pie. And Vision, Vision makes that joke. He can't wait to be a papaya or whatever. Oh, yeah, that was pretty uh, funny. Yeah, it's just another silly thing that they keep on adding. A dumb adding dad to. joke. Yeah, just another dumb dad joke. She's making the whole room for everyone, and then they have an art or not argument, but they just kind of go back and forth at what the name should be, Billy or Tommy. Funnily, uh, or, you know. both. Yeah, they end up getting to name them both Billy and Tommy because they have twins. Yep. So. And doesn't the Rambo lady deliver the children? Too? Yeah, Monica uh, delivers the child. Anyways... Uh, honestly, this episode is kind of weird because I don't know how I feel about watching Wanda go into labor. It was a little <laughs> weird. I don't. I didn't. I didn't really like watching her kind of like 
he he who. It was kind of weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Man said he he who. Well, that's what her breathing exercise yeah, was no. apparently. A weird breathing exercise. Anyways, um, the power cuts out because, you know, Wanda, something it goes in like, labor. Yeah, sh she's going in, or you know, she's getting kicking and sort of like a weird feeling. Um, and yeah, contractions, contractions. Contractions, or there's fake contractions too. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know that much one of one of my favorite things is when the wife walks in the room with Phil Jones and Dottie, and she's like, "Honey, do these earrings make me look fat?" And then the the power goes out, and he's like, "Oh, thank God." <laughs> that, was <laughs> yeah. that was so great. Yeah, oh, I I love Phil. God. His mustache is legendary. <laughs> he's actually um. In coming to America, I, I spotted it out immediately. He was the Lyft driver in coming to America, and I knew it because I saw that mustache. Yeah, I watched the second one. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. right, but what uh, are we on now? We're, we're still on episode three, man. Oh, um, okay, we're yeah, we're going in yeah. depth on these. Yeah, we are. Um, after that funny little joke, Wanda <laughs> and Vision, we have our another creepy scene where Vision is kind of like telling Wanda, I don't think this is right. Like, something's wrong here. Everybody, Herb, and just everything that's going on, the the Hart family where he was choking, and, like, just everything is weird. And then Wanda, like, edited it out. She just re rewound time or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. And then it was just, yeah, and then it was just all good. Those scenes are just really creepy. But anyways. Episode uh, four Vision, for me was, like, where we... Where I was first like, oh, this is what's going on, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had an episode four next. That is a good episode. That's yeah, actually really good. I like good. that one. Yeah. Um, we see our ad for this episode, which is the, oh, Hydra Soak. This is the Hydra Soak episode um, with the mom going, like, kind of crazy. I mean, it's obviously hinting towards Hydra. Yeah. Yeah, Hydra. Uh, it's also mentioned in the Shields. Um, Agents of Shields, which apparently isn't canon, but they mentioned Hydra Soak. Agents of Shield isn't about. canon. I didn't know that. Yeah, it wasn't canon. Oh, that sucks. Because I love that show. show that that was awesome. serious though. Yeah, I didn't watch it, but I watched like the first probably four or five seasons, and then I stopped. I think it was four or five yeah. seasons. Maybe the episodes in the seasons were just really long, because I remember watching like a ton of them. Yeah. Well, anyways, Monica comes in, and we have this whole little funny bit where um, Wanda is trying to cover her pregnancy, and she has the fruit bowl. Monica starts the, like telling uh, a uh, story the, 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 when she was painting the wall, and then the bird came alive and butterflies and all that stuff. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Um. But anyways, Monica's telling her story, and then like that swan appears, and she's trying to like get rid of it. And like the red dust magic comes up, and the swan just, or yeah, the swan just kind of like dusts it away. Pops away, yeah. Yeah, that that was pretty funny. And then Monica, um, figures out that she's pregnant, and then she goes into labor, and Monica has to help deliver the baby. Uh, Vision goes to get the doctor, uh, and then when they come back, and the first kid is born, the doctor's kind of like. It was like we were flying. We were going so fast because you know, Vision has super speed. Yeah, so. and I'm pretty sure Vision thought, flew in labor though, didn't he? No, I think no, he I was think just running really fast. Oh. Yeah, but I thought that was funny. And then she goes and has another kid because you know, twins. Yeah. And then we get the big stuff. We get into the big stuff where Vision is talking to Agatha and Herb, and Agatha's like trying to get Monica out because Monica is, you know, a part of S.W.O.R.D. And Monica is trying to get Wanda to stop the Hex. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, Agatha knows that, but no one else does, so. Yeah. Um, but that whole thing happens with uh, Vision, Herb, and Wanda. Or Vision, Herb, and Agatha. Um, and Agnes kind of just, like, rides off on her bike like nothing happened, and... Herb as well. Herb is kind of like, yep, see you around, buddy. Like, nothing weird just happened. Yeah. And yeah, then he talked about back. something, and it was like, no, don't tell him. Yeah. She was like, don't tell him. And then he's like, hmm, okay, nothing happened. 
Yeah, I um, that. Yeah, and then um, Monica says something about Pietro getting killed by Ultron, and Wanda's like, what the heck? So she's like, nope, you're out of here. And yeah. the next Ooh, scene, Vision just, yeah, Vision pops in, and um, Wanda's just like, oh, yeah, she had to go. And then it shows her getting kicked out of the hex and sword, the whole base looking at her, lights on her, and then that's the end of episode three, which was a very good episode. Well, I wouldn't say, but it wasn't a bad episode. It wasn't as bad so. as some of the other ones, but I would say it wasn't yeah. a great episode. No, it definitely wasn't episode a great four one. Episode four was like the first episode that I really liked, though. Oh, yeah, episode four... Oh, that that's a good episode, man. I, I gotta admit, we that's when figure, we figure out, out everything. like Westview so, in the bubble or whatever. Yeah, the hex. We it, this episode is really cool. We start off with Monica, you know, returning from the blip. We figure out her mom is dead. She's sad, and then the Marvel intro kicks in. I just remember being so hyped when that happened. I was just like, oh my god, I am ready for this episode. And she tries to get into sword. We see Hayward for the first time. Talking about sentient weapons, yeah, boo Hayward. He tried to shoot kids, and his aim sucks. He's got Stormtrooper aim. (laughs) He's got Stormtrooper aim. Wait, who had Stormtrooper aim? Hayward, Hayward. when he was shooting the kids, and he missed all his He he shot four bullets and had to reload. Yeah, I remember that. Anyways. He didn't have sleight of hand or fully loaded, but. (laughs) Sleight of hand, nice. He didn't have have fully loaded. Yeah, no, he didn't have the, uh, the gun, the gunslinger perk or whatever it's called. You know the, no, what, you know the perk, or not the perk, the wild card in Cold War that gives you, like, max ammo? Oh, I don't, I don't, yeah, okay, I think it's gun, uh, whatever it is. Anyways, we get to Westview. Like, gives you all the attachments, but. Yeah, well, anyways, we we get to Westview, and we see Jimmy Woo pulling up that quick, like, close-up magic that he was learning in Ant-Man and the Wasp. You remember that? In Ant-Man yeah. and the Wasp? And he does it, and that's, you know, biggest character arc so far in all of Marvel. What do you guys think? I think... Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo. Big Ben. To be honest, I don't even remember Big Ben. Dude, he was the when best. He was I, so that great. That is hilarious. Like, him he and, and is. He, I've seen I, his other movies, too, and he's just awesome. Like, Always Be My Maybe. Oh, it's, I, I like him, dude. He's a good he's actor. Funny. He is funny. Yeah, Anyways... Like Anyways, they like discuss the, the missing. Person. Yeah, they discuss the missing person. He um, and he, and he, he talks about how none of the guy's family even remember him, which is pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Monica gets sucked in because she walks in herself. I don't know if she just wanted to walk in or if something, you know, like tempted her to walk in, but whatever, you know? It's like, I'm going to get this point. She's like, I let me get in here. Like, ooh, this looks cool. Anyway, Because they didn't, but didn't know two cops drove away, right? Yeah, the two cops drove away. I don't... Yeah, I remember the cops were there, and they were like, what's Westview? And they were standing, like, right below the Westview sign. Yeah, they were like, there's no Westview. There's only Eastview or something. Yeah, that was hilarious. Uh, it was actually kind of creepy. Yeah, it was funny, it was creepy. also creepy for me, you know. You think that was um, Agatha's doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Agatha's doing. What, to prevent um, him from driving, to prevent the cops from coming in? No, I think she, Agatha just didn't want anyone intervening. Like, she didn't want anyone to figure out because Agatha wanted the Scarlet Witch powers, and she didn't want S.W.O.R.D. or anyone trying to intervene. Yeah. That's why she didn't like Monica. Um, anyways, next scene, we get introduced to Darcy and three other people. Um, if you remember, she's from one of the Thor movies that no one cares about. Oh, no, 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 that was a good Thor movie. Thor movie? No, all the Thor sucked. movies were bad. No, Not bad. Ragnarok, dude. Thor Not Ragnarok, 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 Ragnarok was bad. Thor, Thor 2. Uh, my dad likes all the Thor movies. Thor, They're Dark all right. Girl, that one was bad. Yeah, well, anyways, I like we, the majority. we see how she gets the sitcom up and running um, and how there's a ton of radiation um, dating back to the Big Bang or whatever, CBMR or something. Yeah. I'm probably don't quote. I like her character. Yeah, she is a good character. I do like her. Uh, anyways, we see where that beehive guy came from from under the sewer. He was really a sword agent. Yeah. Um, 
going over the shooter. Yeah, cut and turn yeah. into a jump rope. And turn into a jump rope. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty. Cool. Anyways, everyone's kind of like, kind of like, what's going on here? How how is there a sitcom? How did you even find this, Darcy? And she's just kind of like, just explaining that. TV? Yeah, she just turned on the TV, and there it was, <laughs> sound and picture. Um, and then they try, and then they start not try. They start identifying everyone in the bubble as real people. And if you actually notice. Agatha is the only person without like that ID card. Like they don't know. Yeah. yeah, they don't know anything about her. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, and then Jimmy Woo and Darcy do the thing that we saw in episode two, where Jimmy tries to contact Wanda, and Darcy sees that Wanda just cuts it out. Yeah, and she's kind of confused. So that this episode is really just explaining everything that happened in the last two or three episodes. Yeah. That's what I liked. About yeah, it, it, it was showing going on that what was going on outside the hex. Yeah, yeah. I finally like understood what was actually happening, which was nice. Yeah, um, they see the whole kid thing, and then it just cuts. Like it shows Monica there, and then next thing it's just Monica's Vision. Gone. Yeah, Wa- Wanda and Vision are just sitting on the couch. It she just had cuts. to go. Yeah, and then we have uh, episode five and all of its trashness. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ho- hold on now, hold on now. We um. We didn't talk about the... We're we're, we're forgetting one little part. Yeah, you forgot the creepy part where it uh, it shows Wanda literally kicking her out and then rebuilding the house, sort of, and then she turns around and we get that jump scare. I would consider it a jump scare because it scared the hell out of me with Vision's, like, kind of dead head where the mind stone had been ripped out. Oh, I hated those. I hated that. No way. I was like, oh, God. That was bad. Yeah, I was like, oh, God. Yeah, that scared me. Then... That might be worse than Baby Vision, but I don't know. Baby Vision is like a bro. <laughs> Baby Vision. <laughs> Baby Vision. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's get into that real quick. Do Baby know, Vision. Do you know why they did that? Why Vision turned like they that? Just, it's, like sick. it's a sitcom. It, it, it's a uh, sitcom. No, no, no. Gunner's talking about um, why okay. they made him look like he was dead. It's because... Um, that's what he really is like. Him. That's what he's like. He He's actually dead. Yeah, I know, but and, like, why, oh, yeah. did it, why did it suddenly turn to that? Because um, Wanda's... It's just Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. Just, It's either Agatha trying to make Grief. Wanda upset, or it's just Wanda is just kind of, like, upset at that time, and she turns around and sees Wanda. Or dead Vision. Dead. Or she's grieving, or something like that. Yeah, she, she's grieving this entire season. That's the whole point. But... Um, episode five. Uh, ugh, this episode. Okay. Is this where Pietro shows up? What, I can't hug my sister? Yeah. What, I can't hug my little sister to death? And that one, and then all Man, the kids, like, grow up, like, so fast. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so, we, we start off with the opening, which is actually not bad with, like, Vision and Wanda trying to get their kids to sleep, and Agnes shows up. Which, this part is funny, where Agnes is kind of like, you know, saying how Ralph, Ralph can't tame this tiger. tiger. Yeah, that was- <laughs> he can't tame this tiger. That yeah. was fun. I like Agnes's character until she turns in like Ralph, an evil was witch. Was Ralph but, actually a real person? It was Ralph Boner. It's Quicksilver. That was him all along. Oh. We'll get into that. That was annoying, Boner. man. <laughs> Boner. <laughs> Me and my dad would laugh about that. Yeah, I did laugh at that. That was funny. Anyways, um, we also get the weird kind of like Agnes is like, should I take it from the top? You know, she's yeah, trying to, like, yeah, gain uh, Wanda's trust, I feel like. Yeah. Or make her trust her, she's, yeah. She's, she's playing a role. She's, like, she's acting. Yep. Because everyone else she's starts doing that, like, right after that attack. Like, right yep. And Vision is kind of worried about it. He's like, uh, did you not just see that? Like, she was acting really weird there. And Wanda's like, no, Vision, I, I didn't. Wait, after this episode, I feel like her... Yeah. yeah. And Vision was pointing it out, and Wanda was like, no. She wasn't being weird. Yeah. And, but after this episode, I feel like Wanda and Vision just, like, don't like each other. Like, they're just... They didn't connect. Yeah, they couldn't connect because Vision is starting to realize that, you know, this isn't real. Isn't this the episode where Vision, like, like was at the office with the computer and stuff? Yeah, final episode, they liked each other again, but... No, but wasn't this the episode where, like, where Vision was in the office with all the computers and, like, then he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, to Norm. Anyways, after that whole intro with the kids, like, kind of, like, growing up to be, like, five years old, suddenly, and Agnes is just, like, nothing happened, um, we get the terrifying opening with baby vision. Oh, I'm looking at it right now. Oh, Uh. 
bad. It is so bad. Oh, man. But they also do show um, real pictures of Elizabeth Olsen and the two kids from their real childhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I, 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 thought real life. I thought that was cool, but the whole vision thing was just, we didn't need that, dude. Vision, like, that was so funny, but scary. Yeah, it, it really it's is. Terrified. It's it's like it's like it's like a sleep paralysis demon. I'd rather watch the old McDonald's commercials and like watch that again. That was just terrifying. With the clown. Yeah. Well, the anyways, we get we, we get the Monica talking about what it was like. She was saying she could feel Wanda's grief, just like everyone else has said when Vision awakes them. Um, Jimmy Woo, uh, Darcy, and Monica kind of like start talking a little, and then they go to the big meeting. With Hayward calling Wanda a terrorist and everything, and Monica's trying to Didn't back her up. Didn't they also uh, test Monica to see if she was like, because like her yes. cells changed or something? Yeah, yeah, it was the first sign of Monica getting her photon powers. Powers, yeah. yeah. The test came back blank, which was, you know, it was pretty exciting for the people that knew pretty that awesome. she was going to, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Hayward, as we learn in episode 8, lied to everyone in this episode that Wanda took Vision's body. Um, because, you know, the man's a little liar. He literally allowed her to walk out with him. She never took his body. I actually, when we talk about episode 9, I have a theory about what he was trying to do. Um, but we're not there yet. Anyways, um, we cut back to, like, the two kids, like, having Sparky in the sink. Um, Mm -hmm. And, and Wanda, Sparky scene is saying, blah, blah, blah. yeah, blah blah blah. Wanda and Vision are you know arguing again because she used her magic in front of Agnes. And Vision kind of like, am I the only one that it. thinks that uh that the kids are kind of annoying? I, I thought when they were five, they towards were towards the end. Towards the end, I did. I I didn't really mind the kids, but when they were five, I didn't really like their acting because I mean they were trying to like portray how sitcoms the little kids never really were great at acting, you know. They're really just there for a cute effect. Anyways, Agnes comes through with exactly what they needed, of course, because she's Agnes. Yeah. She always comes right at the perfect time. Anyways, they get to keep the dog because Vision said they need to be 10 until they get it, and then they just grow up to be 10. And <laughs> boom, I, they get the dog. Um, we, yeah, and we cut to Jimmy, Monica, and Darcy talking um, about the events of Endgame, sort of. Um, and how Wanda was, like, the closest one to Division. killing Thanos. And and then, oh, no. um, yeah, I know. And then Jimmy was like, well, Captain Marvel was pretty close. Uh-huh. And, then, and then Monica was like, mm, yeah, well, yeah, we're not no. talking about her. She's like, we're talking about Wanda. And then Darcy and Jimmy were like, uh, okay, uh, whatever you... Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't... And then they appear. Yeah, she doesn't, um... Anyways, they go to investigate, like, the clothes, and then they figure out that, Mon- I mean, um, Wanda is just rewriting reality. Um, she's yeah, not changing. Yeah, wasn't like, yeah. Kevlar or something? Yeah, it was Kevlar. Um, which is body armor. And, yeah, which is body armor, for anyone that doesn't know, but I'm sure you do. Um, and let's just talk about how, what is up with people in the MCU just grabbing guns and just shooting it indoors without giving warning? <laughs> like... I feel like that would really hurt your ears if someone just, like, grabbed out a Glock and just started shooting it indoors. Yeah. With no warning. And no I mean, one at least a question. Yeah, at least Darcy, like, closed her ears, and she was like, oh my goodness. And then Jimmy Woo over there is just, like, standing there like nothing's happening. I mean, he's an just FBI like, man. He's probably used to hearing guns. Yeah, or maybe he has, like, earplugs in his ears at all time, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, we cut to Vision at the office with Norm, and that whole computer thing happens. It's creepy, and then Vision learns how to awake people, and he awakes Norm, and we learn the scary truth about Wanda, you know, taking control of these people's minds, and they feel terrible. They just want yeah. their family. It, it's really, it's a tough scene, man. That's Norm, Norm also says something about his, like, past, and, like, how, something about a trip or something, I think, and then... Uh, when you look at the board of for Norm's profile, it says something about what he said. So, yeah. Yeah, about how he was awakened. Yeah. yeah. How he was awoken by um vision. Yeah. Um. No, not like that. No, no, no. I mean, like when, like, like on, like the chalk on, like the board with all like the people that couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cards. Yeah, I know. On, on I the only did, I, yeah, they did write that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Um. 
And then right right after Vision puts him back in the trance, he's like he he gives another funny joke, and he's just like, um, some about letter opener with an email or something. Yeah, no, he was like, say if it's digitally or something, where do I put the stamp? And then like the audience laughs, and then we're just kind of like, uh, okay, this is kind of weird. And then, but right. isn't there like an email from Sword? Yeah, yeah, that's what they were all reading, and that's oh, why yeah. Vision kind of was like, Figured okay, okay. Kind of yeah, and then he awoke him. Um, we then cut to uh, Wanda um, with the kids and everything, and then she kind of senses that, oh, they sent in, like, something. This and is the drone. The, the 80s drone, the Stark drone, because since they sent it in from the 80s, and this takes place in the 80s sitcom episode, she didn't have to rewrite it. So Monica is just trying to be peaceful, and Hayward's like, take the shot. And it's like, what? And then they sh- try to shoot Wanda. She comes out of the hex, gives it back to them with her Sokovian accent. Finally. Accent. Yeah, finally oh, no. coming back. <laughs> um, they all have the guns pointed at her. Monica just kind of like... like that's um, not she's a good like, idea, bro. Yeah, Monica was like, you trusted me to like take your babies. Or not take them, but, but like help, help you deliver your babies. Yeah. Because she was under Wanda's mind control, so um, Wanda does trust Monica in some way. That's what Monica um, was trying to say. Also, in that scene, she like makes her one point the guns at Hayward. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty cool scene. And she says, "Stay away from me," and she turns the hex into like the huge red hex, like the aggravated hex. Yeah. Yeah. And then we finally get our ad. Uh, Lagos brand paper towels, which if you guys don't remember from Civil War, that was the place where that whole thing happened where she, like, was taking the guy and then he blew up on the building and a ton of people died. Oh, yeah. yeah um, that's what caused yeah, the so that, Civil War. That's what caused the whole Civil that's War. That's what caused Civil War. Yeah, so that she's feeling regret from that, and that's what this paper towel ad is kind of. Like, it's like all, all the, like, the words in it is, like, clean up the mess easy. And like the drips of blood at the end, yeah. It, it, the ad is pretty creepy if you really think about it. Um, but then after that, they're trying to find Sparky um, with Wanda. Like Agatha killed and, him. And yeah. No, Agatha didn't. Like, isn't like something about the flower he ate or something? The flower. I think um, what happened is he was like eating the flowers. Flower. Yeah, like Sparky in the comic books. Mm-hmm. He was eating the flowers. And I think um, Agnes just killed the dog because he was eating her flowers. I mean, she admitted right? her flowers she are special. Dog, yeah. yeah, she did admit to killing it, so she killed it somehow, some way, whatever it was. Um, it made the kids really sad, and Wanda was being a hypocrite where she's like, you can't bring things back from the dead, you know. Yeah, Sometimes you just have to move on. Brought, brought yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, technically, but, she, and, made and, and, her, she made an image of him not bringing him back, bro. Well... Yeah. She could have made an image of the dog. Like, come on now. Yeah. Well, um, we uh, cut to back to the house with Vision and Wanda. Vision walks back inside from burying the dog, and he's washing his hands. And then he confronts Wanda about what happened earlier in the day with um, the guy at his office, Norm, and how he awoken him and how he has a family. And Wanda starts to roll the credits, which is actually really cool. I like that scene. Where mm-hmm. she, this this whole final scene is really nice because it shows this, how they're. Was this the scene when they were like arguing and then the credits was rolling and his vision's like, no, you can't do this or something. Yeah. Okay. And actually, a cool little um thing is the people on the credits are actually real people that yeah I helped that. produce the show and stuff. Um, then they fly in the air and they start like yelling at each other and then the door knocks and visions kind of like. I can't believe you're doing this. And she's like, I didn't do that. And then she goes to open up the door, and it's Pietro. I, I can't like love the, my sister. Yeah. Love my sister. It's like, it's like the big reveal for the entire episode. <laughs> it, they actually got the Fox X-Men. Yeah, they got the actor Quicksilver. for uh, Quicksilver. Uh, Quicksilver. For Quicksilver in the Fox um, movie. Yeah. And that's, I, I love... That's what led me to believe that there would be a... What's it called? X-Men? No. Um, Mutants? No, uh, 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 never mind. <laughs> okay. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? An X-Men crossover? Avengers crossover? 
kind of like that, uh, multiverse. Like, oh, the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we later figure out that he's just Ralph Boner. Big upset <laughs> there. Bummer. I mean, it's funny, but it's it's also like disrespect on his name, his character that they had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, my name's uh, Ralph Boner. <laughs> Dude, imagine having she, that name. She killed him, right? No. No, Ralph is still alive. Well, He's an inspiring no. actor. What was he doing in that class. scene then? Because like he was like just like rich. Agnes was using him. Oh. Agnes yeah. used him to with like a necklace or something. Right? Yeah, with like that weird beach necklace that he has with the shells mm -hmm. on it. He's supposed to be there to give Wanda more grief. And it actually is really interesting because even though he looks different, she's willing to accept that it's still her brother because she's so sad. But, yeah. That's the uh, end of episode five. Um, in my opinion, it was not that great of an episode. Yeah, I didn't I think really there's like better that. episodes. Uh, um, well, for episode six, I did pretty... I, I kind of liked episode six because it shows, like... How everything was like bugging out where Wanda wasn't visiting. Yeah, episode six um, is my favorite episode, but we'll get into that on the next CGR episode. At the next same time. time, because these next episodes yeah. are really long and they're really impactful, so. Yeah. And seductively, she's got really close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pull up that. Yeah, well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we'll see you next time.